ओके सर भैया सो क्वेश्चन इज देयर फाइंड द रेडियस ऑफ अ सर्कल इफ द लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट एट डिस्टेंस ऑफ 25 सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल इज 24 लेट अस ड्रा ड्रा फाइंड द रेडियस ऑफ अ सर्कल so first of all let us draw the circle okay the radius of the circle is the length of the tangent from the point r okay so let us draw our tangent line nahi likha hai okay jab par aap par acha se likho so this is your point of contact okay? this is your center okay so now from a point is distance 25 cm okay from the center of the circle is 24 distance of 25 cm okay so this is 25 cm from the center of circle is 24 cm this is 24 cm okay and this we already know that this will be 90 degree now we have to find out this radius r okay so how can we find out this radius r sophia Using the the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, by using because this is a right angle triangle. Okay, since it is a right angle triangle, so we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So 25 square will be equal to 24 square plus r square. Okay, so r square will be equal to 25 square minus 24 square. Okay. Yes, Sophia. Okay. So if we will take here. So it will be six twenty five minus five seventy six. Okay, twenty nine. Okay, so it is uh, R equal to seven centimeter. We'll take the positive value because radius distance cannot be in negative. Okay, so seven centimeter is your radius. Okay, now let's check with the second question. Okay. Now, if PQ is a tangent to a circle, okay, with center O, okay, so PQ is what tangent to a circle and center O, and radius six centimeter. Yes, so PQ is a tangent to a circle with center O. Its center is O, and PQ is the tangent. So this is PQ with PQ is a tangent with center uh, at a circle with center O and radius six centimeter. Radius is six centimeter. Okay, such that PQO. P Q P Q O okay. PQO is equal to sixty degree. So is equal to sixty degree. Okay. Then Find the length of a tangent PQ and line and the line OQ. Okay, so you have to find two things up here. Here you have to find PQ also and OQ also. How can we find any suggestion? Angle is given and your radius is given. You have to find OQ and PQ both. Sophia, how can we find out? Yes, how can we find out both the things? Um, using trigonometric ratios. Yes, we're using trigonometric ratio. Okay, so if you need to find out first PQ, so how which trigonometric ratio that can we use to find PQ? And OP is given. Um, we have to find PQ. Yeah. If you are finding PQ, so for this, if this is your angle, so obviously OP will be what? Perpendicular um, and we can, use cos. we can use cos. See, in cos and sine, we need your this uh, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is necessary only in tan. Hypotenuse is not there. Okay, so for finding out PQ, we are going to use tan, and for OP, you can use OP. You can use sine and tan because in uh, if you are finding out uh, if you If the hypotenuse is given, or you need to find out hypotenuse, then you can go with sine or cos. Okay, but if your perpendicular is given and you need to find out base, so perpendicular and base ratio are given only in tan. Okay, okay, Sophia. So, and this is possible because this is a right angle triangle. Okay, this is a right angle triangle. So, in right angle triangle, now we need to find out sine tan sixty degree. So tan sixty degree is equal to what? Tan is equal to perpendicular upon base. So here perpendicular is what? OP upon PQ. Okay. Now tan sixty degree is what? Sapia? Yes, ma'am. Tan sixty degree is equal to OP. Okay. 
and op is given you six and pq you have to find out okay so from here pq we can find out which is equal to six upon both three okay so we can rationalize it and we'll get what two root three okay two root three will be your peak value of pq okay now from here your root three value can multiply and get the exact value also now for oq okay so for oq we can use here sine sine 60 degrees is equal to sine is equal to your perpendicular upon hypo okay so perpendicular is your op upon hypotenuse is oq okay which will be equal to sine 60 degrees equal to what root 3 upon 2 root 6 upon q okay which is equal to oq is equal to 6 upon root 3 multiplied by 2 if you are going to rationalize this so it will be equal to oq will be equal to 4 root 3 okay 4 root 3 centimeter okay so we have got the value of this as 2 root 3 centimeter and this is 4 root 3 centimeter any doubt here Safiya? okay now if a b is a tangent drawn from a point a to a circle okay now a b is a tangent okay and uh, drawn from a point a from point a it is drawn to a circle with center okay so a b is a tangent is saying a points are draw here again so it will be and this is your center four and b o c is a diameter b o c is a diameter so is that a o c a o c then find o a b you have to find out this angle okay this angle is given so how can we find out this will be equal to 90 degree okay it's a tangent now we have to find out o a b and we already know that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles okay so angle c o a will be equal to angle o b a plus angle b a o okay or you can say that o a b okay so this is given equal to 120 degree which is equal to o b a this is equal to 90 degree plus angle b a o you have to find out so angle b a o will be equal to 120 degree minus 90 degree okay which is equal to 30 degree so this angle is equal to 30 degree. Okay. Any doubt? Any doubts of here? No, ma'am. Okay. So now we are going on the topic second. That is number of tangents from a point on a surface. That how many tangents we can draw, okay, from a point, okay, from a given point on a circle. Okay. Circle, see, is a, a, a point is given, okay. Now from that given point, how many tangents you can draw to that circle, okay. Now, this depends how many uh, tangent can be drawn. This depends on the given point that where it is located. Uh, the given point is located where, okay? Now, there will be three cases, uh, three different scenarios where the points are located. So the one thing is that, that the point is located outside the circle. The second case is when it is on the circle. And the third is when it is inside the circle, okay? Now, let us study each case one by one, okay? So, for case one, when point P lies outside the circle, go see the spell diagram, okay? When this point P is lying outside the circle, then we can draw two tangents, okay? We can draw two tangents, that is T1 and T2 can be drawn, okay? And the length of both the tangents will be equal, okay? We will prove this also in the theorem that when uh, from a given point we draw two tangents, okay? And the point is outside circle, the two tangents that are drawn, the circle will be both the uh, tangents length will be equal okay now the second case is when the point p lies on the circle so when a point p lies on the circle only one single tangent can be drawn okay from that point okay the point okay and if that point is lying in 
on the circle then only single tangent is possible okay because the tangent touches the circle at only one point and that point is already given the touching point is already given on that that point already is on the circle so from that point only single tangent can be drawn if point p lies on the circle then there is one and only one line passing through the point p which touch circle in one point okay and there is one and only one tangent to the circle passing through a point p lying on the circle and this point p will be its point of contact and this particular point p will be point of contact okay point of contact is a point where the tangent is touching the circle now the case three when the point p lies inside the circle when this point p is lying totally inside the circle then if a point is lying inside the circle so if you are going to draw a line that will obviously it is that it, with that line will be passing two points on the circle and tangent touches the circle at single point so there is no tangent possible from the point that is inside the circle okay if a point p you can read here if a point P lies inside the circle, then any line passing through the point P will intersect the circle at two points, okay? Hence, there is no tangent to a circle through a point lying inside the circle. Length of tangents drawn from an external point, okay? External points, how many tangents draw, okay? Uh, we have already seen how many tangents can be drawn from an external point. If a point is external, then two tangents are possible, okay? Now, we'll see some of the, uh, that what uh, one theorem we will be covering, where we will be proving that both the, the lengths of both the tangents will be equal. Now, see here, we know that the length of the tangent is the length of the segment of the tangent now what is length of a tangent now if this is a circle given okay and we have drawn this from this point of contact to the given point this is called the uh, you can say uh, length of tangent okay from to the given point to the point of contact okay so that is only written here that the length of a tangent is the length of the segment of the tangent okay a b is this segment from the tangent segment of the tangent between the external point p say and the point of contact of tangent with the circle if two tangents are drawn from an external point, then they are equal in length. Let's see this theorem that I was talking about. Okay. Now, this is the theorem. Let's cover up here. Okay. Wait. Okay. Basically, okay. Now, we have to prove that AP, okay, AP is one of the tangent and AQ is one of the tangent. Okay. P is the point of contact for this tangent number one. And Q is the point of contact for this tangent number 2, okay? Now, O is the center. Now, we have to prove that the length of the tangent drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. That means AP is equal to AQ. We have to prove this. Now, what we are going to do, we already know when we draw tangent that this will be perpendicular, okay? And also, we are going to do some construction. That is, we are going to join this op and oq that i've already joined it okay because the tangent are just op and we will also join this oa okay we are going to join this oa okay now to prove this there are two methods okay we will see both the methods one by one because since it is a right angle triangle so we can prove it by pythagoras theorem also but here you can see two triangles and they are okay let's start with uh, proving here okay now do we have any idea how you are, we are going to prove that AP is equal to AQ? Sophia, are you looking at the diagram? Yes, ma'am. Uh, how can we prove that AP is equal to AQ? We have covered triangle chapter also. This type of question was there in triangles also. How can you prove that AP is equal to AQ? No, we can prove that they both are congruent. Yeah, if they both are congruent, we can prove. So for congruency, what do you think? Which congruency will hold here? See, this uh -huh. is a right angle triangle. Both of the triangles are right angle triangle. Yes, sir. Yes. From it yeah. will be ASA. Yeah. This is your 90 degree? Uh, uh, SAS congruency. No, not SAS. It is RHS congruency will hold here because one, this is a right angle triangle and we are taking the 90 degree. This is your common hypotenuse. Okay. RHS me kya hota aapka? RHS uh, congruency me hota hai aapka right angle hypotenuse and one side okay so this is your hypotenuse only because see a uh, ao is the hypotenuse we are taking the hypotenuse because this is common in both the triangle we are taking the right angle and one side will be op 
this op and oq why this will be equal because it is radius of the circle and since it is the radius of the circle so it will be equal okay so from rhs what you will say that angle apo is equal to angle aqo okay is equal to 90 degree okay now uh, op is equal to oq is equal to r you can write here radius radius of circle okay and ao is common so triangle apo is congruent congruent to triangle aqo from rhs congruency rule okay from rhs now ap therefore ap is equal to aq from cp ct congruent part of uh, from okay so understood that ap is equal to aq now this is the first method okay now what can be the second method sapia yes sir what can be the second method the proof yeah the same thing we can prove it with the second method also uh, there is a second method okay by your pythagoras theorem now if you see here there is a triangle now this triangle only here you look at here so now both the triangles are right angle triangle okay now if we are going to find out the value of oa okay oa so oa oa square will be yahan pe second method confusion nahi second method okay oa square is equal to op square op square plus ap square okay from pythagoras theorem okay now similarly for the other triangle uh, oa square we aapko nikalna hai ap na ap nikalna so ap square as ikalo kar lo isko ap square is equal to oa square minus op square okay understood now this uh, instead of op instead of op we can write oq okay oa square minus o q o q yahan pe likh lena since op is equal to o q sorry o op is equal to o q is equal to radius okay so we can write here instead of op we can write o q okay so in an oa square minus o q square you can write it as this can be written as what aq aq square so ap square is equal to aq square got it and since uh, we can take the root also here we can remove the root here so ap is equal to okay understood safia both the methods from can you explain the second one again okay yes now here just look at this one have you understood oh, okay, that um, i understand yeah i understand this uh, no problem okay yahan pe na what happened i did uh, what i did here that first i took the upper triangle okay so what we can write that ao square is equal to op square plus ap square since it is a right angle triangle okay now what i did that we have to find out the value of ap na we have to prove that ap is equal to aq so i have taken a formula in respect of ap so ap square will be equal to ao square minus op square now instead of op i can write oq square because oq is the radius o op and oq is the radius so they will be same so now you become on the right hand side aq square and o oq square sorry uh, ao square minus oq square so this can be written as aq also okay now one note is here that is triangle oap is equal to oaq is talking about this angle that this angle since it is a what congruent triangle so these both angles are will be equal okay and why we are saying that these two angles we are talking about these two angles it means that oa that line oa that we have joined here see oa so this line is going to bisect your angle paq okay so from here we got the conclusion that the center of circle lies on the bisector of an angle between the two tangents okay right. if a point lies there so many conclusion that you will get from here that if a, a point is lying outside the circle then we can draw two tangents from it okay and the length of both the tangent will be equal okay and moreover if uh, if you are going to join uh, the center that's written here the center of the circle lies on the bisector of the angle between the two tangents if if we are drawing a line that is going to bisect the angle okay this angle a then the center will lie on that line Okay, Safia. Yes, ma'am. Now some important results are here related to tangents 
to a circle okay now what are the you know, important results okay what are the important results that are related to circle that if two send circles touch internally or externally both the diagrams are here if two touches if two circles are touching internally or externally then point of contact okay point of contact means the point where both the circle is touching each other the point of contact lies on the straight line through the two centers okay the the point of contact where the two circles are touching that particular point of contact will be lying on the line which is touching the or which is joining the center of both the circle okay now the second point is a pair of tangent drawn at two points of a circle are either parallel or they intersect each other at a point outside the circle okay now if you are drawing two tangent okay if you are drawing a pair of tangent okay a pair of tangent means two tangents are drawn okay drawn at two points of a circle two point circle ke two points pe draw hua hai then either they will be parallel it is obviously understood that if you are drawing two tangents at two points okay so ya to wo parallel honge okay ya fir kya hoga ye agar parallel nahi hai so they, they are going to join somewhere okay okay they are going to join somewhere okay but they will be joining outside the circle okay now third point is if two tangents drawn to a circle are parallel to each other then the line segment joining them joining their point of contact is a diameter okay so if the tangents are parallel parallel hai to wo bilkul opposite honge wo dono point that have we have studied in the topic number 1 also if the two tangents are parallel that means the point of contact will be lying opposite to each other okay so this if you are going to join this point of contact so this will be a diameter okay similarly if you are going to draw circle here wait what happened okay so it will be opposite this will be a diameter because if they are not opposite it will be somewhere here and one i am drawing here so they are going to join somewhere the joining point will be exterior to the circle okay now okay if two tangents are drawn to a circle from an exterior point now whenever you are drawing a circle from the exterior point so here we have seen the proof also they subtend equal angle at the center now we have seen that these two angles are equal okay in the uh, and the they subtend equal angle at the center also okay so this angle are also equal we have already proved that the triangles are congruent so since the triangle are congruent then all the three angles will also be equal and all the three side will also be equal okay so we already know this they are equal inclination the equal inclination means this angle p okay this part this this angle will be equal to this angle okay okay now the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle now if you are having a quadrilateral a four sided figure okay where uh, okay four sided figure uh, which is a circumscribing a circle okay a circle is drawn inside it okay circumscribing means the circle will be touching the four sides of the quadrilateral okay ye nahi ki aapka quadrilateral jo hai wo aapka yahan hai circle aise this is not circumscribing a circle okay when it is touching the all the sides of a quadrilateral then it is circumscribing a circle okay sub tend supplementary angles at the center of the circle so opposite sides means this side and this side if you are going to take the angle this and this so addition will be equal to 180 degree okay if you are going to take uh, this side and this side you going to add this then they are going to subtend supplementary angle at the center of the circle okay now these properties are used in your class uh, 10th only these many topics are covered okay i can go beyond this topic we'll see here okay afterwards that uh, we'll be extending some more topics not or not so here now we are examples only here okay now let's see the example next class will be on your thursday now i will take your probability test because probability test is pending i will announce it in the group also okay now uh, what is here in the given figure okay let me copy it also now in the given figure in the given figure xp xp and xq are tangents okay they are xp and xq are the tangents from x means x is the exterior point and from this exterior point we have drawn two tangents to the circle and the point of contact of these two tangents are p and q okay 
so our tangents from x to the circle with center o o is the center r is a point on the circle r is a point on the circle okay prove that x a x a plus a r is equal to x b plus b r okay now r is a point of uh, your r is a point on the circle okay r is a single point on the circle okay safia so that means ab will be the tangent of the circle yes ab can be the tangent on the circle and in fact you see this uh, wait uh, uh, this a point if you are seeing that a point so a point is exterior to circle okay and from this exterior circle you can say that ap and ar are the tangents two tangents from this exterior point a okay so that means ap will be equal to ar yes or no because from a itna bas dekho ye hai na ye ye chhota wala portion okay this is a this is p this is r okay now this is also exterior point ye bhi aapka exterior point hai theek hai and this p this is a point of contact and r is a point of contact okay no other point is touching the circle so that means ap will be equal to ar okay so now here we already know from uh, the theorem that xp will be equal to xq okay because these tangents are from the point outside the circle so these are equal okay now xp can be written as xa plus ap okay xp can be written as xa plus ap okay now you see here only i'll explain you here expand can you go okay now this is already given x is an exterior point and from exterior point when we draw a tangents two tangents then they are equal in length we have already proved this theorem okay just now this this was a theorem before this okay now ap will be equal to ar okay again same thing because a is a point from this point two tangents are drawn that is ap and ar point of contact is only p and r so from from an exterior point when you draw two tangents so they their length will be equal so therefore ap is equal to ar similarly b is a point outside the circle and it two tangents are drawn and the point of contact is q and r okay so that means bq is equal to br understood till here safia till here it is understood or any doubt is there yes ma'am i didn't actually understand acha ye ye samajh mein aaya safia ki jab ek circle hai hum ek point bahar hai theek hai outside the circle if there is a point so we can draw maximum of two tangent from this point okay yes ma'am and the length of both the tangent will be equal okay uski length jo hogi na wo equal hogi okay now what is here in this figure ye to aapka ye tangent banayi hai ठीक है नाउ यहाँ पे एक और ऐसे ज्वाइनिंग हुआ है ठीक है अंडरस्टूड दिस वे ओके नाउ अगर सिर्फ इतने पोर्शन को ले लो सफिया ओनली ये पोर्शन आप लो सो so ये भी तो एक पॉइंट है जो आउटसाइड द सर्कल है है ना ये सो नो यहाँ पे देखो मैं एकदम एक्सपैक्ट कर रही हूँ जितना मैक्सिमम हो सकता है ये जो पॉइंट ए है ये भी तो आपका आउटसाइड द सर्कल है ये सो नो यस मैम ओके सो इस पॉइंट से भी दो टेंजेंट ड्रॉ सकते हैं A tangent होता है क्या है टेंजेंट इज गोइंग टू टच द सर्कल ओनली एट सिंगल पॉइंट सो इफ यू सी दिस ए पी सो ओनली एट पॉइंट पी इट इज टचिंग एंड आर इज द पॉइंट वेयर द वेयर दिस लाइन इज टचिंग द सर्कल ओके सो दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम दिस ए वी हैव ड्रॉन टू टैंस दीज आर टू टेंजेंट्स ए पी एंड ए आर ओके सो दे मीन्स ए पी विल बी इक्वल टू ए आर now understood safia yes ma'am okay Sim similar thing is happening with your b point also b is an exterior point okay and two tangents are drawn this will be equal to this so when we are writing this see if you are writing xq xq ko aap kya kya likh sakte ho xq ko aap likh sakte ho xb plus bq okay is line ka aur is line ka sum karke likh sakte ho whole xq ko break kiya gaya do line mein now Instead, this X B will be same because no alternative will impact. Okay, so B Q instead of B Q, you can write it as B R. Yes or no? Because B Q is equal to B R. Okay, so X Q. No, we have proved here, na? B is an exterior point. Okay, Savia, and from this exterior point, two tangents are there, B Q and B R. Yeah. B Q and B R. देखो फिर से बता रही हूँ. ये B point. 
from any point outside the circle both the tan both the tangents will be equal right yes both the tangent if you are drawing from f from any exterior point you can draw draw maximum of two tangents ye ek point hai aapka theek hai ki jo bhi point aapka bahar hai circle ke usse aap do point do tangent draw sak, kar sakte ho maximum theek hai now what is the second conclusion that these two tangents that you are drawing from a point that is exterior to circle will be equal in their length theek hai ye dono equal honge jaise ye x point hai yahan se do tangent draw hua hai to ap xp will be equal to xq okay similarly this b point is also outside the circle okay aur hame pata hai ki ye jo line dono line hai wo ye wali sirf r pe touch ho rahi hai ye sirf q pe touch ho rahi hai that means it is a what it is a tangent agar ye line andar se hoke ja rahi hoti ठीक है सो दैट विल नॉट बी अ टेंजेंट ओके बट वी नो दैट इट इज टचिंग द सर्कल एट ओनली वन पॉइंट सो इट इज अ टेंजेंट सो दिस बी क्यू विल बी इक्वल टू बी आर ओके इसलिए हम बी क्यू की जगह बी आर लिख सकते हैं सिमिलरली फॉर एक्स पी कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्स ए प्लस ए पी ओके नाउ एक्स ए प्लस ए पी ए पी की जगह आप लिख सकते हो ए आर ओके नाउ अंडरस्टूड सफिया ओके एक बार रिकॉर्डिंग देखना एंड जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस क्वेश्चन ओके इफ अगेन यू फेल आउट इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन अगेन ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्रूव दैट व्हाट द बोथ वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट एक्स पी इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यू सो एक्स पी इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यू वी हैव रिटर्न हियर ओके एंड इन एक्स पी कैन बी रिटर्न एज वॉट एक्स ए प्लस ए आर एक्स ए प्लस ए आर एंड uh what is there uh, x q can be written as like x b plus b r okay understood so we have proved this like understood sophia yes any doubt till here no ma'am okay so we are ending here and in circle we are remaining with two three questions only okay three questions three questions are there one two three in the next class we will discuss the three questions uh before that you will be having your test talks okay thursday i told you na no? so thursday you will be having its test on sunday i will discomplete the chapter okay okay sophia bye bye